There is one thing that makes life better, and that is a cleansing. There's a commercial on TV right now with kids rolling around in a mud puddle, and the parents are all dismayed until the announcer comes on and shows one tied pod and said, put this in the washer and it will get these clothes just like brand new when you first pick them up at the store. <laughs> Well, I'm a little skeptical on that. I think nothing would clean those kids more than, you know, a, a high-pressure hose. But uh, uh, it's, it's a funny commercial anyway. So often we think about cleansing, and we think about washing in water. That's the meaning of baptism. It is a submersion, a cleansing. It's a symbolic act of cleansing the body, cleansing the spirit. But often we don't talk about cleansing the mind. And that's an important thing because you live in your mind. You really do. You might think you live in a certain situation, certain atmosphere and environment, you bring your mind into it, and all your perceptions about that place are from your mind. The cleansing action of the mind has real power. It can change life. Well, what cleanses the mind? Well, biblically, it is forgiveness. To let go of those soiled ideas inside of you and take on a new, higher thought of God. I ask you to accept the idea of forgiveness. I ask you to forgive yourself and forgive others. And often we're blocked by that very word itself. Well, change it to cleansing if you want. To cleanse yourself of the debris See, unforgiveness is one of a human's greatest stumbling blocks, overcoming of which has marked effect on life, and it will change everything. It's paradox in itself, as it is the cause of a human's greatest suffering, and it's self-inflicted. There are several aspects to keep in mind regarding forgiveness. First, and this is what I've been talking about, it is a cleansing action of the mind. We feel mentally cleansed when we exercise forgiveness toward ourselves or towards another. Next, the very word forgive brings the thought of action. We must take action. To forgive is to give for. We give something good for that which was not good. We replace that that was not good with good. This may only be in thought. We give it a loving thought for a condemning one. And yet it will change everything in action later. It'll change everything in our environment and our perception of that. Two steps bring us a long way forward in the path of unfoldment. And we sincerely follow these steps. We give for and then we transmute the old into the new. There is a cleansing that takes place in you and in me when we do this. When sincerely applied, we can embark upon a life without pain and without illness and without many limitations. When you are cleansed in mind, your whole life changes. You are changed at the center of you to the circumference of you. You are changed at the core level of you. We accept the grace of God 
that frees us from the law of sowing and reaping, which has held us in bondage for too long. So today I pray that you have a cleansing action of the mind take place in you day and night, and you become a new creature in Christ.